Hey, everybody, this is Corey with FixMyReport.com, the nation's leading authority in credit repair, credit scoring. And I really just wanted to take a couple of minutes to share with you uh, what I find is really unique phenomenon that's, uh, you know, it's funny, things just keep coming around, uh, you know, and what I'm speaking to are real estate investment wholesalers and fix and flip guys and all this investment strategy and all different types of ways to wholesale real estate. You know, and so I want to share with you and take a couple of minutes uh, because one, I'm absolutely qualified to share with you about real estate. Uh, when I founded Fix My, Refor uh, Fix My Report in 2004, uh, to date, 2018, we've helped close $3.3 billion in mortgage loans uh, for loan officers nationwide. On top of that, I have personally, personally been involved with nearly 400 real estate transactions uh, in, my, uh, in my investing career. And so what I wanted to share with you is, uh, and that may seem like a large number and it's the absolute fact, and I wanted to share with you how I accomplished, what I accomplished in the last 13 months. I was able to successfully add $1.2 million of net worth uh, to my net worth this last 13 months, and I'm gonna share with you how. Number one, what I did was, what I focus on are deeply discounted properties. Everybody's looking for the great deal, the foreclosure, the tax property, you know, the wholesale guys wanna fix and flip and all this kind of stuff, and that's fine. I'm not a high volume fix and flip person. As a matter of fact, uh, just last, just this year, I, I flipped, um, a property in Maryland, a couple of properties in South Carolina, and uh, that was it. So only three of them. The other properties uh, I cap, and I, I cap and I keep is long-term buy and hold rentals. So here's what I do. Number one, uh, my investment strategy, my three-prong investment strategy. Number one is deeply discounted property. So how do you find them? Uh, well, you know, do I get a Facebook? Do I go to look? to meetup groups? Do I go to RIA's Real Estate Investment Association meetings? You know, um, lots of different ways to find them. You know, you may be watching this video in San Diego. You may be watching it in Chicago, maybe in Miami. Three places, three places that I've lived in that I know well. So, you know, if you're in Chicago, you may be looking at the Chicago Daily Law, uh, Law Bulletin. And uh, it's a place where legal notices are published, all different types of legal notices. Uniform commercial code sales, UCC, bankruptcy related transactions, mortgage foreclosures, defaults, judgments, tax liens. If you're in California, you may be working with a title company to access data. You may be looking at, um, uh, you maybe have a relationship with a real estate owned manager that you're building a relationship with. So personally for me, I focused on these couple of places. I look at, uh, I look at probate estate properties. As a matter of fact, I just got a list. Um, I've compiled over the last 10 days of the estates, right? These are the, it's amazing how many people pass away. It's just, you don't think about it. These are, this is just in the last two weeks and each, and each one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 220 some odd estates just in the last couple of weeks. You know, some of these people have assets. Uh, some of these people have no heirs or their heirs are out of state and their heirs don't even know their heirs. Uh, and so I enjoy the detail. If you know me and we've worked together in the past and you're on my list, of uh, you know the kind of uh, intense focus uh, that I bring on things. The same thing on the real estate investing side. So being able to do research, if you enjoy research, if you enjoy finding where people are at, skip tracing people. That's something that uh, is, uh, is an important aspect of real estate investing. Number two is uh, deeply discounted labor and materials, uh, which would be number three. So number two is deeply discounted labor. Where do you find deeply discounted labor? Well, I'm all about building relationships long-term with people. And uh, oftentimes, you know, it just, it takes time to build relationships with people. As you know, as you well know, it took whatever time it took for us to build a relationship, or maybe if we haven't yet meet, uh, met, hopefully we'll, we'll do that. So I did a test. I, I placed three ads on Craigslist. 
because I wanted to bring in a new group of uh, contractors, repair people at a good price, just to see if it would work. So I placed three separate ads. I received 248 total phone calls on those three ads. I fielded all of them. And what I found was 68%, 68% of those people that I spoke with had some convicted felony or conviction uh, on their record. And as part of the requirement, uh, I asked a question and I vetted them very, very well. And so what I got to was that's not the group of people that I want to deal with whatsoever. I want to deal with people that uh, I know that I can like, that I can trust the same way that I want to be known, liked, and trusted, the same way you do too. And so what I found was um, uh, building relationships with people. So I went to uh, different contractor meetings. I went to different groups. I said, who do you know that is looking for work that's reliable? And I found a number of people that I can count on and I've been very successful and I've been using those people over and over again. And here's what I tell them. And I'll tell you this too. Uh, I say right up front, listen, you're not going to make a lot of money with me. Okay. What you will do is you'll get fill in the blank money in between the jobs, in between the times that you're waiting for a new job, you can work for me. And when you're out, looking for larger paying jobs, you, I can keep you busy. I can keep your cash flow flowing and we can work together and do these simple jobs to get things done. And so my jobs may be, may move a little slower, but my costs are much less. And the third thing that I want to share with you is material costs and material costs are very interesting. How do you get discounts on material costs? If you're the majority of us, you're probably going to be going to Lowe's, Maybe you're going to go to Home Depot to buy something. And it's like, where else are you going to go? Well, Home Depot and Lowe's are my last resorts, except for this one thing, coal stock, C-U-L-L, coal stock. What's that? So coal stock are materials, raw lumber mostly, that uh, get put to the side. Maybe they fall fallen and hit the ground. Maybe some of the boards that were in a stack broke. and so. Uh, you can buy these, uh, these separate uh, parcels, these separate bundles, deeply discounted. Uh, where I'm located uh, in this new office that I'm building in South Carolina, along with my office in La Jolla in San Diego, uh, I found that I can buy materials at 90 to 95% less. So, for example, I just bought a 12900 and well, but effectively $13,000 stack of lumber, I paid $1,100 for. Now, how did I do that? Well, it's all relationship. So if you're a rehabber like I am, and uh, or in the natural course of events, you need to fix up something when you're buying a piece of property, or maybe if you're a wholesaler, you don't really care about it, you just want to flip it. Uh, I always want to make things better. That's my investment strategy personally. And uh, make things better, make it easier for people to say yes. Uh, and, um, and have people have a even better experience of what they're getting. So I, I enjoy making things better and improving things. And so being able to have access to materials was important to me. So I went into, uh, I went into Lowe's and I went to Home Depot and I started talking to a manager. I said, well, what do you do with all of the material that may be a little dinged up and bruised and damaged? And they said, well, you know, every couple of days we band it all together. We put it on the side of the building. And then, you know, maybe it sells. We'll leave it outside. We just want to get rid of it. So one of the things that I recently bought, recently bought like three days ago, was this. Uh, I was so darn excited about it, I posted on my Facebook page, on my Fix My Report Facebook page. You can see this is a uh, 1,344 square foot of uh, square feet of brand new carpeting. This carpeting was custom made. This client paid $4,408.32 for this, and I just happened to be walking through Lowe's and it was sitting there, and the sales associate said, hey, Corey, uh, are you looking for a carpet? I'm like, uh, yeah, I bought it for $200, brand new, and here's all the sizes, uh, all, and they're nice sizes. So I'm gonna put them in my new office in South Carolina. And so I wanted to share with you my investment strategy that quite frankly has allowed me to generate $1.2 million of additional net worth in 2017 and 2018. And so uh, if you have any questions about it, you're always welcome to reach me. I'm at 858-270-0251.
And uh, that's my San Diego office. We're open five days a week, actually six days a week. And we'd love to be able to help you accomplish your investment goals as well. Love to be able to help you accomplish your uh, clients' investment goals and help you close some mortgage loans by, uh, by resolving complex credit problems that, that people deal with every single day. So this is Corey at Fix My Report, the leading authority, the nation's leading authority in credit repair and credit scoring. All right, take care, everybody. Look to talk to you soon. Enjoy your Friday. Bye-bye.